Wait a second. Was this show? Or no, that's. We could try this spot. I don't know. All right, we'll try one more main game and then we'll try the fucking other one. You gotta keep uh, a profile. Maybe we should just do all the episodes. I don't know. <laughs> they could just you gotta even if you lose, you gotta unlock the new new profile or new thing. a nice selection of ladies today dick we start out today with Lindsay, a cute little slip of a girl who one day hopes to be neck deep in sutures that's right player she's scrubs to be a nurse. and grubs. believe me she knows how to use a thermometer uh, what do you study? Nursing. you study nursing and you want a nurse nurse anesthetist yeah i want to nurse anesthetist yeah nurse anesthetist i don't know what that means <laughs> It's uh, nurse anesthesiologist. Oh, the drugs, right, the drugs. Okay. Lots of drugs. Okay, Lots of excellent. I'm all about the drugs. Look up in the sky. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? Oh, no. It's a question. Ooh, I like this one. How many carrots, carrots is, is pure gold? 24. Lindsay's up first, and she's got on her poker face. All right, are you pretty familiar with yeah, gold? Yes. <clears throat> I know I asked you a diamond question. Uh, gold. Yeah, yeah. Gold jewelry. Gold. All right. Yeah. The question is, pure gold has how many carrots? I think she knows this. I'll give you a bonus if you can guess whether she gets the question right or not. I think she knows it. 
How many carats is pure gold? 18. Oh, why did you oh listen my to them? Yeah. They only want to see your boobies. The correct answer is 24. You never listen to them. <laughs> they only want one thing, Lindsay. Are you ready? Come on, guys. One, two, three. All right. Sorry, we guys still got the, some points, though. Pure gold is so soft that it would gradually wear away with everyday use. Bonus, oh, do you? Don't you want to see titties? Next, we go to our incredible what is double wrong team. With you? As Orville and Wilbur gave their first few seconds of flight, as Watson and Crick gave us the double helix, as Salt and Peppa gave us their shoop, Wendy and Sarah are prepared okay, to give us a Okay, they're probably going to get the wrong answer. Now, what are you doing in Dallas? I live there, but I go to school in Oklahoma. Oh, okay. And, what, and where are you from? Houston. Houston, and uh, do you live there now, or you live in Stillwater? I go to school with her. And and what do you study? Business. You study business, and you study business. You also study business. Well, ladies, let's get down to business. You want the question? You can't handle the question. Who directed the film Hairspray? team Wendy and Sarah could use some help here the question is what man directed the film hairspray so what do you think is this girl gonna get the question right or blow it we don't know take a guess a director can you name a director you might be right Something Waters, whatever she said. John Waters. John Waters. John Waters. Oh, the correct shit. answer is John Waters. <laughs> it was because someone in the audience told her. What the Normally, fuck? Normally, I would advise you to not listen to the crowd. <laughs> but when it's a woman, bitches be helping each other out. Okay. Oh, my God. She didn't like know. Most of his movies, it was set in the city of Baltimore. That is great. Okay, this one is definitely rigged because you didn't even know the right answer, but they someone told them. That's right. Finally, we have the lovely Chelsea. Steve, watch out for this girl. She comes off as nervous, but believe me. I don't like this set, anyways. That That's fine. Hi, Chelsea. How are you? Nervous. Don't be nervous. You're gonna do great. You're already the crowd favorite. I want to show my tits. Well, you know, then I want you to get all the questions right. I, I will. Okay. I have to this enable brain. cheats when I'm playing this, this is game. Brain when you're thinking about today. Want a question? Elections in the U.S. are traditionally held on what weekday? Might be Tuesday. I don't know. I. You, Dick, but I don't I'm know if it's the same in Canada. From All right, the question is, Chelsea, elections <laughs> in the United States are traditionally held on what weekday? How about it? Is the hottie right or wrong? The Tuesday. The correct answer is Tuesday, Chelsea. You got it right. <laughs> Where is the love? love? Where is the love? There's no love. <laughs> they just love your boobies. They don't love you for you. <laughs> this procedure for presidential elections was mandated by federal law in 1845. You want to see these? We'll start guessing right. Maybe I don't have to use the bonus if I don't to say flash anything then. Not to flash. Here is the question. <laughs> the Roadrunner is the official bird of what state? Now it's 
It's Lindsay's turn again. So I want you to think long and hard about this because I really, really want you to get this, Lindsay. Okay, the question is, the Roadrunner is the state bird of which U.S. state? Oh, I know this. She says she knows this, so I... I mean, if she gets it wrong, I'm going to be pissed. I know you know this, Lindsay. I know this. I know you know this. I really want you to get this. Don't listen to everybody else. Don't listen to everybody else. Don't listen. Okay. Um, New Mexico? The correct answer is New Mexico. You got it right. Nice job. Told you you're my favorite. All right. They don't really make that meep meep sound. I, I looked it up. <laughs> Is that a question in your pocket, or are you just happy to see Titty? Who was named People Magazine's Sexiest Man Alive in 2002? Oh, that was... Wow. I guess it's Harrison Ford, I don't know. Let's go to the double team, Wendy and Sarah. I wonder if they can answer this one without any help. All right, here's the question, girls. What man was named People Magazine's Sexiest Man Alive in the year 2002? Yeah, I don't know either. Um, I'm not sure if they know. Let's say around. I don't know what they're saying. Stop listening to them. Okay, good. Brad Pitt is That's the one I picked. Fuck you. The correct answer is Ben Affleck. Wait for it, ladies. Okay, it's Ben Affleck. You're right. Noise for two ladies at the same time. Are you ready? One, two, three. Mm. You're pierced. I know. Uh, and uh, he was paid fifteen million dollars for the two thousand and three movie Paycheck. If I'm not sure, I gotta wait longer. So we're, we're not getting the. Not getting it. How about a menage a trois? You, me, and a question. What is the only marsupial native to North America? Chelsea. The question is, what is the only marsupial that is native to North America? I don't think she knows this because she like fucking was like put her head in there. Thing. Oh wait, I put right though. Oh my. You see these all the time in the south. Armadillo. Ah. Uh. Really close. It's a possum. A possum is the only marsupial native to North Fucking America. Let kidding. me hear some noise. I'm not going to make her do it unless you make some noise. Come on, noise. One, two, three. It has been on Earth for over 70 million years, making it one of the oldest mammals. It's almost not worth it to try and guess sometimes, I think, on the with bonus. I think maybe we would have still got the points. I'm not sure now. Well, the first trivia round is over, and I think you know what that means, Dick. I sure do, Steve. It's time for round two, the ball shots round. Do your best in ball shots to prove how good you are at free. Ball shots.
Game over. Way to go! You've made it onto the high score table. Is there even a point in playing that balls game? You don't, don't get any extra points. The thing you have to remember is that in Titwits, all the hottie responses are wrong. And that means a lot of flashes. You have to figure out which wrong answer the hottie comes up with. Take the flash meter all the way to super stiff mode and earn your way into the final round, the hottie challenge. So now, let's play Titwits! Now it's time for a question. What is the only U.S. state that was once a kingdom? Now we're going to find out what Lindsay knows. Lindsay, the question is, what is the only U.S. state that was once a kingdom? Yeah, I picked that one, but I don't know. Yeah, she gets it wrong, but with which answer? Texas? <laughs> oh, she's good. Lindsay, I'm Texas. sorry, the correct answer is Hawaii. Hawaii was once a king. All right, at least we got it right. All right, get ready, Lindsay. I want to hear some noise, guys. Come on. One, two, three. Crowd favorite. You're doing great. Yeah. But I think I've bet too much on the bonus, though. I don't understand this game. The only requirement for attaining the monarchy of Hawaii was that you had to be a giant, fat fuck. I think I bet too much on the bonus, though. Because, yeah, see? Like, that's all I'm starting to realize now. Fucking... It's like almost no point. Did I not make myself clear? Get ready, because it's trivia time. Who founded the feminist journal Ms. in 1971? We're back with a double team, Wendy and Sarah. We didn't even pick an answer that time. Right, one wrong. Let's see what happens here. The question is, ladies, what woman founded the feminist journal Ms. In 1971, what woman founded that feminist journal? This girl is about to give one of these wrong answers, but which one? Uh, do you know? Say, say it. No, I don't know who. Glenn, something you said? Glenn? I don't know his last name. Give me the first name. Glenn? Glenn? Glenn is incorrect. The correct answer is Gloria Steinem. Gloria Steinem. All Why the right, fuck would they pick noise. a guy's oh, name One, when it said two, it's three. a lump? Like, what the fuck is wrong with them? All right, ladies. That it said that it was a girl. Like, it says it was like a fucking. It says Miss. One of her most famous assignments what the was fuck going is wrong with them? the name of the world's tallest waterfall uh, I said Niagara yeah that's wrong for your viewing pleasure here's Chelsea and her boundless knowledge okay here we go all right Chelsea what is the name of the world's tallest waterfall I thought it was, but I guess Niagara not. Falls. Everybody thinks it is, but it's not. Sorry, Niagara Falls is incorrect. <laughs> Angel Falls in Venezuela is much taller. Angel Falls in Let's Venezuela. Noise, guys. Are you ready? No, wait. Come over here. Come over here. They zoom in One, on it this time. Two, three. That was very polite of you to turn both ways. Well, they're bitching over there because you're standing in the way. It 
is hidden in a wilderness region in Venezuela called Gran Sabana. This game's pretty hard, unless you know. You want a question? You got it. What movie featured the tagline, an undercover cop in a class by himself? Kindergarten cop, yeah. I had to think about it for a second. Like this weird way they. His own Lindsay. Let's find out if she can answer a <laughs> question. All right. The question is, what movie featured <clears throat> the tagline, "An undercover cop in a class by himself"? You know this movie. You've seen it. I guarantee it. I heard. Pulp Fiction. Fuck you. Pulp Fiction is incorrect. Why the Lindsay? fuck would you? Damn that's it. not even a Damn fucking no, cop. It's it's like kindergarten cop with Arnold Schwarzenegger in a class by himself. They okay. fucking have Lindsay, like. If on, that's not even like focused One, on the two, fucking three. cops in that movie. Get the fuck out of here. Enthusiasm when you do that. I love it. In 2003, Schwarzenegger I thought she was going to say Die Hard, because that's like a fucking... California. Like, what the fuck, man? I feel a question coming on. What nation is foremost in foreign U.S. patents? Ah, I fucked up. I guess it's Taiwan then or Japan. I don't know. Twice the pleasure. Twice the China pleasure. and then that the got eliminated. The question is, ladies, what world nation is foremost in foreign U.S. patents? China. Ladies, that's very close. The correct answer is Japan. And I heard you almost it's say Japan. that, but you said China. All right, ladies, are you ready? One, two, three. All right. This includes Hong Kong and the People's Republic. Time. What is the only fruit that bears its seeds on the outside? Mm. Oh, fuck. Strawberry. Oh, my God. I don't know why I didn't think. Now, the double D I that is Chelsea. picked the wrong one. Chelsea, you know the answer to this question. Okay. All right. The question is. What is the only fruit up, that bears I its seeds up, on the outside? I picked the fucking other one because I was like, uh, I didn't. S I, I was like rushing too much. Pomegranate. Yeah, if she said banana, I was going to be pissed. Pomegranate is incorrect. It's a strawberry. Strawberry has the seeds on the outside. Are you ready? Come on, guys. I want some noise. One, two, three. All right. Strawberries are thought to have been cultivated in ancient Rome. Yeah, you've reached the sorted chubby level. You're halfway there. We're not going to make it, though. Shit. Players, I am sorry to report that your performance was not sufficient, and you will not be seeing the hottie challenge on this game. I'm sorry, but this game was pathetic. 
Did you even see the flash show meter? This was terrible and all out embarrassment to guy game play. This is the worst one so far. You suck. Dick and Steve in the booth signing up. We'll see you He's losers sick. next time here at the guy game. Let's move on, but we'll come back to this game.